Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Patriot for payroll. So the first thing that you want to do is click here, try it for free for today's. Here I'll just simply add email and email address. Start my free trial. And now how did you hear about us? I'm going to click online search. Continue. Thanks. So I'm going to confirm the email now. Okay, confirm and continue. To begin your account setup, I'm going to add my password here. It needs to contain everything what you see. I acknowledge and agree to terms and conditions and continue. And now you see that like what kind of trial uh, you want. You can like accounting premium, full service payroll. It's completely up to you. I'm going to let's say add this one here. Continue. And now text filling name, business name, just add that. Five mailing address. City. Let's see here. Okay, contact phone number. Let me add that also. I'm just like researching right now some random one right here for the tutorial. Continue. And now let's just wait until it loads. Your account needs to be set up. And now let's see. Setup checklist. Your account has been created. First, now you're just going to click continue and we are going to fill everything that we're going to see. Continue. Uh, if you have like employees that work on this location, you can press yes or no. I can just like press yes here. Would you like to add another location? No. If you want to, you can of course add different ones. So I would like to click yes here and I would add location nickname, address, city, zip code and phone. If you have another location on which uh, your employees are working. So no. Do you use departments? So for example, do you need to organize employees by department, assign departments to work locations, include department information in your payroll? I can press yes. And you can have like, let's say, Marketing, right? Product, like research and development. And then I can again press continue. If you can have like more locations, you would find more locations right here. Press continue. And now confirm your business location. Again, you're gonna uh, no local text select or I'm going to press Los Angeles, California. Continue. Are there any employer payroll taxes that your business is not required to pay? My business requires to pay employee. 
in order to pay in your payroll taxes again you choose which one suits you the best then we're gonna press continue now again you're gonna add federal income tax number right here And now what we can do is to just like add here like this continue and now California state unemployment again you add it right here which one you want effective date continue yes no again like this is something that if you know uh, you just add it right based on your i don't know what to talk to about right here continue and now custom hours type so we can go overtime regular double time covid family leave holiday sick vacation The most commonly used hours types have been set up for you. The listed hour types meet your needs. Simply click continue below. You can have a holiday here and sick if you want to. Again, completely up to you. And you can edit those or you can add also new hour type. Press continue. Custom money types. The most commonly used money types have been set up for you. And we see right here bonus, commission, tips owed. Again, you choose it. Press continue. Does your company need to add employee deductions? And you can add them or no. I'm not going to add them, but again, you would press yes. And you would add like what kind of deductions you want. Then description method or fixed dollar or percent amount per pay and you can also add limits to your deduction w2 box here and again you add it if you want to i don't have it so i'm not going to add it click back and press no does your company offer contributions again this would include items such as Company paid benefits premiums for 1k company match. Company aid say contributions. Again, you can press yes, no. I can go with simply no. But again, if you would press yes, same style. It's really straightforward what you need to do. Contribution type method, formula. And you can add limit to contributions. So I'm going to press no right now. Do you use workers' compensation codes? Another thing that you would click yes. And again, you would add description code save. Straightforward. How will you be paying your employees? With a direct deposit, handwritten and printed checks, with a combination of paychecks and direct deposit. I'm going to skip for now, but again, you can simply just continue. And now uh, you're gonna like which layout we'd like to use. Again, up to you. It depends like if you can what kind of option you're gonna choose. Continue. How do you want to add your employees? Manual enter each employee, or you can bulk import if you want to. Continue. Add employee. For, I'm going to add myself. address uh, 
I'm going to add like same style. So give me a second. Okay, like this. Now just continue. You add here also social security number. And now uh, email address, if you're gonna have like optional home, cell phone, again, higher date, birthday, gender, male, female. So again, this is like simple, how you can feel everything about your employee. Continue. Add Marcus Stone payroll information. Now wage plan code, again, covered under a state plan for both unemployment and disability, covered under state plan for disability insurance. You can have like pay frequency of weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually. Pay type, hourly, we can go salary or whatever you want. Pay rate, we can go 10. And we can have like department marketing. Let's go not 20. And you can also add another pay rate and pay an additional repeating money type. Continue. Now company tax exceptions, state exceptions. You can withhold income tax. Continue. Add tax information. You can single or married, filling separately, married, head of household, non-resident. Again, you feel, feel everything here. Additional allowances. You just feel everything here. And now I want to add different employee. And now you see right here. So we got one employee. This is review employees added. And I'm going to press continue again. I'll just add need to like continue. And again, you see like this, the payroll setup summary about the departments, company information, payroll settings. You can really see the review here, preview of everything what we added. I know there are like plenty of stuff to cover. I just wanted to give you like quick walk through what you need to do. Press continue again. Okay, can go back again. Enter credit debit card information. And now, and this is how we do it, right? So we just like add a name card, zip code and everything. And you, then you just like press continue. And this is pretty much it, how you use the Patriot software for accounting. This was like quick walk for how we can get your account ready. Thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.